So in case you're wondering why I went to Uganda, my master's project happened to be part of a bigger project, which basically aims to facilitate the use of African crops to make bread-like products. Wheat doesn't grow well in the African climate, so we import most of our wheat supply. And as we all know, the price of wheat is increasing a lot. So using our own indigenous crops would put us in a much better place. And so this project had both research and business partners from Uganda, the Netherlands, Finland and South Africa. And this trip was basically to meet everyone and to test some of the recipes that were developed in the project. But first, we started by touring the city of Kampala by foot. Oh, the roads are calm today. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's... Um... Easy to move around. And the rain, sorry? Right after. Right Yellow oh. sunshine. Sunshine, yes, you got the sun. That are But of course, the king of Uganda was very popular. So, and Obote was from the north, so he wasn't so popular. During the time of conferences, presentation, people were taking the king. <laughs> So as you can see, there's really a huge variety of food in Uganda and there is also really just so much of it. So after the tour, we came to this gorgeous looking place to have some dinner.
So as we were leaving, we got stuck in peak time traffic. But as you can see, there are these motorcycles called Boda Bodas. They are very popular because as you can see, they can get through the traffic. And there are really so, so, so many of them. <laughs> I was really shocked at how many we saw. So on this day, we decided to take a journey to the east of Uganda to a small town called Tororo, which um, is near the border to Kenya. And on our way, I was just so in awe of how green Uganda is. Like there are trees on both sides of the road almost the whole entire way and the crop diversity is amazing. I saw everything from banana trees, maize, cassava, rice. We also saw some tea, um, loads and loads and loads of sugar cane. There was just so much. We even drove past two huge forests and yeah, even in people's homes, you could see that they also grow their own food. And yeah, I was really in awe of this. Yeah. 